Hi all, welcome to the brand new session of Stock Talk Pro. Today, I am going to talk about the basics of stock market and how beginners can succeed in the stock market. Everyone knows that you can make a lot of money in the stock market if you know what you are doing. But beginners don't often understand how the market works and exactly why a stock's price goes up and down. Even very few understand how to make money in the market. So let's discuss today about the basics of the stock market and begin a new fresh journey. Before moving ahead in the video, request all of you to please watch the complete video and share your feedback in the comment section. Do let me know more you wanted to learn and I will, will be sharing the same in the form of a new video. And do not forget to like and subscribe to the video. Also, do share the video with the concern whom you think needs to understand the basics of the stock market. Okay, so let's begin. Stock market can be a fascinating but a scary place. Although, it has a huge opportunity and significant potential profits for some. At the same time, it can be a risky investment for others. The sources like movies, news, and some gossips from friend shows that the stock market is a place where you can enter and become a millionaire in just a matter of days or in a matter of months. And then if one fails and loses the money, the market is considered to be a bad place and also considered as a place for gamblers, right? It is always considered in India as a place of gamblers. So we need to understand if a stock market is a gamble or a business, right? So equating the stock market to gambling is a myth that people on the internet, family, and television pundits have perpetuated for years. And it is simply not true. While investing and gambling have some similar characteristics, but they are very much different. If an investor does not take trading stocks or buying shares or mutual funds seriously and equates it to gambling, I'm sure they are in serious jeopardy of losing their money or missing out the gains from the stock market that they need for retirement or any other goals as planned. So we need to understand why stock market is not a gambling first before even going to understand the basics of stock market. Stock is actually an ownership. Trading is more about facts and figures. It is a game of skills and discipline. Here we need to learn how to mitigate the loss. We need to understand the matter, the importance of time and patience. So unlike investing where there are moderate winners and even some losers over the long and short term, gambling is a zero-sum game. There must be a winner and a loser with the gambling. With the gambling, no value is created. But in investing, companies increase their productivity and develop new products that improves people's lives and, and hence it, it creates a value, right? Companies create values, profits and share those profits through dividends to their investors. Investing creates wealth over the long term for investors and it is not the same as a gambling. So you must understand whether you are doing a gambling or you are in the stock market trading. So for example, like you are taking free advices, you are investing a big amount of money on those free advices or any tips or any other source of information, betting your money in a single stock or in the stock which you have heard from some of your friends or some of your uh, brokers or some news or somewhere 
using your emergency fund even people take a loan to invest in the stock market without even understanding what the stock market is so investing blindly the no plans of investing no plans of trading is a no uh, plan for mitigating the, any kind of losses and so on so if you are doing all these things you are doing gambling in the stock market keep in mind stock market is a pure business where you are starting a business by investing in companies profit and loss is a part and parcel like any other businesses but how you manage or minimize the loss and maximize profit is what matters don't consider market as a quick rich scheme it is a business where nobody get rich in any business overnight they have to work harder they have to work in a discipline they have to have a patience and perseverance then only they can succeed in their business and so as the case with stock market even though stock market investments are risky by nature it is always possible for anyone to successfully participate in this world by following few basic tips and words of wisdom before we must understand that stock market is not a place for gamble but a very well designed platform to do business and this business can be done by anywhere by anyone from anywhere in the world so i hope you understood now that market is not a place for gambling but a place for safe and secure way of doing a planned business so let's see how so everyone know that you can make a lot of money in the stock market only if you know what you are doing but beginners do not often often understand how the market works and exactly why stocks goes up and down even few people understand how it works but they do not have a plan to mitigate the losses maximize the profits and so on being a stock market investors sound very cool and people start investing with a strong urge to multiply the money greed of becoming millionaires is the biggest factor that brings people towards the stock market so like any other business we must know the basic rules of a stock market trading or investing so we must understand what is market how it works we must learn it we must have a plan that how to implement this trading or this investment how to take a losses as a part of this business and if there is a losses how to minimize it we must have a discipline and patience because people here investing in the stock market with different emotions emotions of happiness emotions of panic stress so if price goes up they get delighted and if price goes down they get nervous they get in panic so it is a business where you should not use your emotions but your intellect to understand how to manage this situation like any other situation in the life this is the also a place where you have must you have to and must understand how to mitigate and manage the losses and maximize the profits and the things goes on so start with a diversified portfolio and the main important part is start now it is never late in the stock market so for any as far as any investment is concerned miracle profits do not exist in the stock market keep in mind people who tell you that i invested in a stock market and i made millions in just a matter of months it is not true so do not consider a stock market as a fascinating place but it is a place where you can earn a huge money of course but which is this require a proper use of discipline and patience okay so do understand 
that there is a difference between investment and speculation. You are simply hoping or you just pray that some stocks should go up or down in some short span of time means you are speculating. Why the price would go up and down, that is what we must understand. Like any other market here also, the supply and demand works. If there's a demand, price will go up. If there's supply, price will come down. So you must diversify because there are different scenarios, different reasons are there that I will be talking in different video of this series. So many people confuse by these two situations, investment and speculations. If you hear a hot stock tip at a party or from a friend and you go and buy it, it is just an speculating. If you have a portfolio and you are putting your money on a regular basis, you are investing in the stock by understanding it, why you are investing and what are your goals towards that. Okay, so if you are new to the stock market, then it is important for you to understand this game. Normally, the environment suggests beginners should start with a mutual fund investment and direct equity exposure is risky. Some try to follow the direct exposure considering multiple options available like tips and news, etc. And many other options are available People check something and they try to implement it and either they burn their hand or by God grace, the beginner's luck help them to stay in the market with some initial profits and later they, all these profits goes into loss. So therefore, if you are all set to become a stock investor, then I have the list of golden rules based on my personal experience, which I'm going to share you with you today. So practice is more important than actual gain. First and foremost, you must understand how market works. Before direct equity exposure, before actually investing in the stock market directly, it is always advisable to test the water. How? It is very simple. There are multiple options available on the web. You can register an account with website like Money Control. Where it is as a moneybuy.com. You can go to investing.com and there are many sites which provide you a dummy account to do your trading. For your, so you can go there, create a dummy portfolio of your stocks and then you, you will have some dummy amount you, which you would invest in these stocks. Now, as a stock investor, start monitoring your dummy portfolio, say for a month or three months. So now you understand, read the market, understand the market, implement it in your dummy portfolio and see the results. Observations of the stocks is very important. Observations of your learning is very important than doing it actually on the stock market. So start reading the markets around the globe. If something happens to Singapore, if something happens to US market, that is going to impact the Indian market as well. So you must be aware about these markets. You must be aware about your environments because that is going to impact you because we are living in a global world. Okay. So now, once you have observed in your dummy account, you have seen that you are able to do something positively after observing for three months. Let's start uh, test the water of the stock market. Means now you can go and start your real trading by buying the first stock and the real game starts by then when the real money involves. Then you can start with use some profit booking. So once you start understanding it, you once you start investing it, profit booking is very important part of this business because as you know, this is a risky business. So if you are able to see some unrealized profit in your stocks, 
you keep on taking profit because anything can happen anytime and the price plunges down and your unrealized profit may become unrealized forever. So keep taking profits because that is the way to mitigate the risk. You can find more about this in my video of risk management where I have defined how to take profits at regular intervals and what are the different scenarios to take profits. So though no, can, no one can time the stock market, but can predict the experience and can predict from the experience and motive of the human behavior visible on the chart or other instrument. It is always supply and demand. Try to understand that. And best way is price itself and action by, by price. In short, we call it as a price action. You can learn more about price action strategy in my other videos of basics of a stock market series, where you will be able to understand how the charts can help you to understand, uh, to understand more about the stocks, more about the market and how to implement those. Okay, so never listen to your friends, family, stock guru, do your own research always. Because it happens many times that someone is told to buy this stock and we buy that. If you ask for a reason, reason could be quite weird, like tips from sources, some other um, gurus who is providing this kind of information and, thus, and that works very well. But there's no rationally being told to the people. So, so without any rationally of Purchasing a stock is same like jumping in a well without knowing why and results are known, right? Therefore, it is advisable to conduct your own research based on the assessment of the current economic situations and of course, the demand and supply of that stock. Keep in mind, stock market is not a money-making machine. As a stock investors, we always wanted to double or triple our investment in a year or two. If you're entering in the stock market with this expectation, then it is not a place for you. You will be gambling with your money until unless you are the luckiest lot. As a stock investors, you should set your expectation right before taking a plunge. In my opinion, your expectation should not be more than 10 to 12% annual returns in the long run. Here, I am assuming you are not a trader. So considering 10-12% regularly every year with all the risk, brokerages, tax removed, this is going to be a good consistent performance. You can increase it as you grow uh, more and you learn more with your experience, increase to 12 to 15% to 20%. That is the best you can get it after removing brokerages, taxes, losses, of course, So retail investor is a very small fish in the big pond. So we are always prone to trap. To understand how the stock market operates, you should understand the role of market makers in the stock market. The market maker is the god of the stock market. They may decide the direction of the market. All your analysis and research will go for a toss if the market makers decides against the stocks you shortlisted even though the stocks shortlisted by you are a quality stock. So in other words, as a stock investors, you have to align your investment strategy with the market makers and institutionals, which is mostly FIIs and DIIs, means foreign institutional investors and domestic institutional investors, because they are the market makers who are investing a lot of money in the market. And that is why market moves in different directions. So you need to catch the clues and conclude on the charts. It's an art and successful stock investors knows it well. So if you wanted to learn more about how to read and understand the chart, you can see my other videos of basics of a stock market where I have told or I have shown you with the examples, how candles, how charts can help you to understand the movement of these big institutions. 
most of the stock investments are driven by emotions, greed, and fear. And it is one of the major reasons to lose money in the stock market. One of the example is to buy a stock based on the news or speculations without sound logic. So in 2014, there were great hype created around the revival of PSUs. Of course, you know, 2014, the government changes and there was a concept change that PSU is now going to be a multi-bagger in the future. But what happened after that, you can check yourself. PSU is not a multi-bagger as of now. So the best teacher in your personal finance space, stock market, is an experience. You can learn from the various gurus, you can learn from the various sources, where various teachers, but the main guru of yours is going to be the stock market itself and your experience. No one can teach you art of investment except your experience. You should learn from past mistakes and try to avoid them in future. So what I suggest is to make a plan for every trade. If you're investing in any stocks, write a plan. For more about it, you can see in the risk and, uh, management video where I have told how to write a plan and how to um, plan a trade based on all the assessment done for that stock. Okay. Therefore, as a invest, as, as a stock investors, you should learn from your trading experience itself, and experience counts and make you wise. A word of wisdom, always remember a famous proverb that you should not eat more than you can digest. In my opinion, this is one of the golden rules for the stock market investment also. But as a stock investors, you should invest only what you can afford to lose because it is in a market and subject to your investment is subject to market risk. It can go to zero. So you should, must be sure that what you are investing in the stock market, even if you loss, you should not be bothered about bothered much about your losses. As Warren Buffett told, if you are not willing, or if you hard do not give you uh, rights that if you are not able to see your portfolio going by fifty percent down. You should not come to stock market. Okay, so it is a brave heart game as well. Lastly, you should exit if you feel stock investment is not cup of your tea. Don't go by the motivational and inspirational quotes of the stock gurus. As a stock investor, you should hold your foot on the ground. At the end of the day, it's your hard-earned money. Learn it. Practice it. Try the waters with the real uh, money, experience it, and start slow, start, but keep on moving in the stock market. If you, if you really wanted to start this business, this is a best business in the world. But at the same time, it has a risk involved. So with a greater risk, there's a greater return as well. But that part of risk has to be well managed. And that comes with the experience with the learnings. Okay, so invest wisely, be a professional, try to learn it, try to experience it, understand how the company works, invest only the money you are willing to lose, only invest in a company you, you, you know and understand. And as a beginner, avoid derivatives, FNO stocks, or any investment funds. Understand the difference between cyclical and defensive stocks. Choose a long-term investment. To invest economically in the stock market, use a specialized online brokers and the brokers which gives you less brokerage. You know, that is very important. So that is the last tip before taking the first biggest step. Make sure you understand the jargon of stock exchange orders before buying your first share of stocks. Means. You must understand what kind of order to be placed. I'll be talking about more about in this other videos. It is important to understand the different types of orders. Like you have 
market order, you have limit order where you can put a price of your own choice. How to place a stop losses, how to place orders for which should be alive for next one week or one month or one week. You can see the, my video on Zeroda where I have defined how to make use of this platform called Zeroda to understand and place the orders in the stock in the broker's account. So it is important to understand the different types of orders available in order to avoid expensive mistake in terms of transaction cost, brokerages, and other cost hidden, which you must know before investing in the stock market. So you don't have to be smarter than the rest, but you must be disciplined than the rest. You must know what you are doing it. You must know how to manage it well. If you do not understand it, you can talk to your mentors. You can talk to the people who are experienced in the market, take advices. So keep moving, take uh, feedbacks. So it is a feedback loop. Move ahead, take a feedback, add in your experience, then again move, you'll get experience. So keep on adding your experience, keep on adding your failures. And that is the best thing, that is the best guru through which you can learn to stay strong in the stock market. So hope you like the video and understood about the basics of a stock market. I'll be talking more about the um, steps for a beginners in the stock market. So if you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe it. And also share this video with the person whom you think that they need to understand the basics of the stock market. So till then, take care, bye-bye, and thank you so much.